Spend the day with me as a rad girl in a that girl world, except this is a good one, besties. It's the Sunday Scaries edition. I'm a firm believer that Sundays are for things that start with an S, so that means fresh shirt, fresh shit, fresh Starbucks, in whatever order you'd like. Here I am reflecting on my Saturday night decisions, but only for a second, because we're hot girls and we have to go to brunch. This is a concealer-only operation. If I only wear one product ever, it's this Ellie Girl concealer. My friends come pick me up, and I'm so happy that we all got the baggy hoodie memo. It's pissing rain outside, so the cozier the brunch place, the better, and we happen to be at Sparrow getting some breakfast sammies. It was like one of those brunches where we all ate in silence and all went home immediately afterwards because our social batteries are drained. I could not fight the Sunday nap forces, and look how fucking good that nap hit. Okay, and this is where Sunday starts to get really scary, guys. I actually had to do my laundry and take care of some shit around the house. I was almost out of detergent. I spilled my OxyClean, but we got it done, and I realized if I was going to eat, I had to go secure some food because my fridge was fucking on empty. If you can shop local at a small shop, I strongly suggest it because not only is it cheaper, it's fucking cuter. And here's the thing, I got sucked in by the Dollarama fall section. I need them to sponsor me because if they have a hundred fans, I am one of them. If they have one fan, it is me. Every time I come in here, I end up almost walking out with a flute and fucking three notebooks I don't need. My only beef with them is that all their cards were in French and that was really pissing me off, but I did get this wig and that was the most important thing that I needed to do when I got home. Who is she? Who is she? I don't know, but she's hot. I almost decided to make my whole dinner in this wig, but then I got to itchy and as i always say guys this is not a cooking channel make your food however the fuck you like wash your food if you'd like oh but here look my pepper had a dinky not one but two dinkies anyway i feel like 99 percent of the time i don't have a recipe my food is literally just whatever veg and protein i have seasoned and fried up with probably some soy sauce on it I wanted to have noodles, but that starts with N and Sundays are for S's, so it was a Sunday salad. I decided Sundays are for sex in the city. My boyfriend FaceTimed me and was being even more of a rat than I was. I ate some leftovers over the stove. There's a theme to this, you know? And okay, is it just me or every time I do my laundry, I forget that there's clean shit in there. I think I'm going to one trip it. Every time I try to do one trip, it doesn't work. Every time I learn nothing from this experience. I was so close to just leaving my clean clothes on the floor, but I got to it. Sunday scaries. I folded my shit up and not only did I do that, I filmed how long it took. So it only took 17 minutes. I don't know if that motivates you to do your laundry or to forget about it, but I saw this empty vase and I thought, what better use for it than to put my wig on it? And this is the part we all hate. It's time for me to put my bed sheets back on. I strongly suggest lying in the warm sheets for a couple seconds to regroup before you have to face this task. And also, let's not play ourselves. Don't fucking leave this until one in the morning. And fucking hell, look at this graveyard army of water bottles under my bed. Did I clean it up? No. Am I ashamed? Yes. And I just want you guys to know, my bed might look nice from the outside, but it's kind of dirty on the inside. And I feel like that's a good metaphor for what this vlog is all about. This day has been a lot of energy, so I'm just going to tuck in, watch Sex in the City, and good night. Love you, besties.